Hi guys, I'm Rajesh. Uh, today I'm going to introduce our DILR course. And so, to, to begin with, what has happened in the DILR section of CAT is very interesting. All right, about 2015 onwards, they have ramped up the difficulty level of this section. And so, 2011, 12, 13, 14 to 15, 16, 17, 18 is dramatically different. Basically, the guys who uh, who, who run this exam have said we have quant that test basic uh, numeric ability. We have verbal with just basic understanding ability when placed inside a language context. We want something else which tests for some X factor, something which they feel cannot be gamed that easily. They've amped up the difficulty in that section. So usually if there are 32 questions in that section, you get about 15, 16 right, you're in the top half percentile, 99.5 plus. So it's, it's not uh, slightly tougher than the other two, it's significantly tougher. And so, no, so a, a, every puzzle there is now unconventional, it's atypical. So it's not, we you, you're not looking to learn three things about pie charts and bar graph and two things about seating arrangement and linear uh, arrangement and then saying, look, I'm going to jump in and uh, pick DI or LR and, and crack this. A great many puzzles in the exam, it's, it's, uh, it's incredibly tough to even figure out, categorize it as whether it is DI or LR. So the chart. Uh, with a within a puzzle framework, or the, with a bar graph with some numbers missing, those are the kind of questions we are seeing. Right? So, so what is how do we how does one prepare for it? Right? The, the the idea has to completely change. You've got to say, I'm going to put in myself the ability to figure out new templates. I'm not going to learn just 20 templates or 15 templates or 11 templates because that's just not enough. The eight questions that you're going to see in your exam are going to be from eight different templates. And so you've got to prepare with the idea that I'm going to build in myself the ability to figure out a new template rather than just practice and consolidate a bunch of templates. Okay. The material out there is very frequently either too difficult, wacky or too easy. So when I'm preparing for DILR, I might look at 50, 60, 70 puzzles and I find that 75, 80% of them are too tough for me. I can't even touch them. The ones that are easy are regular. So I'm not really gearing myself for the exam because my exam is not going to give me easy ones or these impossible ones. Even if they are tough, I am not building in myself the ability to figure that out the next time around. So how do I go about it? You should look for a range of unconventional, atypical, different, wacky puzzles. It's very vital. Variety is of essence here. Clearly, that's going to be a differentiator. Second thing, you've got to go through the solution and say, see, the guy who has created this puzzle, the guy who has cracking this puzzle, the guys who are good, how are they going about it? Can I get into their head and see, okay, constraint number four, where it says as Ram should not be traveling by bike or car, that is the starting point for this puzzle. And how do the guy who set this puzzle go about unraveling it like that? Very often the sequence of the constraints is often the, the thing that unblocks a, a DALR puzzle. And so you've got to see it from the guys who get it. Otherwise it becomes haves and have nots. Some people get it, some people don't get it. So the guys who get it, they need only practice. But if you need that assistance, then you need to get into the head of the guys who get it and then say, okay, this is how they are approaching. I need to add this layer of thinking into my system, which is why we have focused enormously on two things. One is variety of puzzles, two detailed solutions. When all our puzzles carry detailed video solutions and detailed slide pack solutions. And so that you can think about it, revisit it, uh, try it on your own and then come back and say, okay, what is the key idea that I missed it when I tried? And so finally, what does this course contain? And this contains about five or six standard classes, so DI and LR separately and basics. So we understand the ideas of growth, growth rates, market share, percentages, simple linear arrangement, uh, circular arrangement, standard puzzle stuff, which you, which you need to get the base. And then this is followed by about 25 classes of give or take four, four puzzles each pegged at the level of difficulty of CAT. And so, so you get exposed to a lot of puzzles in, in at the CAT level. And then we sign off from this by having completely detailed solutions for all the DILR puzzles that appeared in the exam in CAT 2017 and 18. Those are according to me, the best material available for DILR because not only is the quality a guarantee, the level of difficulty comes rubber stamped by CAT. These are the questions that appeared in CAT after CAT made this decision to make DALR magically tough. Right? So do try out that course. As ever with any course offered by us, uh, you get a lot of content to try out. 
you can you can sign in for the dlr course try out a bunch of puzzles see all the solutions of all the all the actual cat questions there are a bunch of solutions available on our youtube channel go through that you'll get a clear idea of what i mean when i say this not only there is not only is there a variety but there's enormous depth in the solutions right as ever you have any thoughts reach out to us best wishes for cat preparation